to the Dewar yeah. Centre, Perth, Scotland, for the McHugh City of Perth Masters 2018. And the feature game will be between Team Bauman and Team Morozumi of Japan. And it's the B Road final. Team's just taking to the ice now to play the draw the shot challenge to determine who gets last stone advantage in the first end. It will be Bauman playing the yellow stones, Morozumi the red. And I'm Ken Edwards and I'm joined by Alan Chalmers for this uh, B final. So Alan, how do you expect the, this one to shape up? Evening, Kenny. Well, hopefully, hopefully, good game. We've got uh, two, two teams that have struggled their way th along the B road, so they've had plenty of ice time all day. This is, I think, their f third or fourth game of the day for some of them. So they should be in good form. They should know the ice, and I'm hoping they'll get lots of stones in play this time and a good, exciting attacking game. Winners progress to the Sunday quarterfinals. Losers have yet another game to play tonight, so there's a big incentive to win this one. Yeah, for sure. If you do drop down into the, the sea road, it's a long way to make the quarterfinals. So there we see the Japanese skip, Morizumi, just about to play his draw to the button. This is a replace the toss of the coin. Yeah, it's much. Uh, it's a skill-based way to determine the toss now, and, and it's used both in knockout curling and in the World Championship or Olympic round robin sections as well. So it's become a real skill as well. Drawing the button, either for hammer. Or for the, the last stone draw averages, it's a, it's a big skill set now. It's important. So this is Morozumi's real stone in the practice in the draw the shot. A little offline, a little high. Yeah, a little heavy as well. Yeah, I think his line would have been good with the right way, but he's. Put it just to the back of the eight foot circle there. So, yeah, just measuring the, the stone, how far it is from the centre. Now it will be uh, Team Germany and Alexander Bowman to try and draw inside that one to take last stone advantage. Sporting a rather colourful uh, hat for this game. I suppose if he's been on the ice all day, uh, <laughs> body temperatures maybe dropping down. Anyway, we shall see whether that affects him or helps him. Just as Sighter, this is the one he gets yeah. as a practice. Yeah, both teams get uh, one practice throw. Just understand how quick the, the ice is running, how the ice is pulling, how much curl is the, there is. Yeah, if you just throw another one of them, he will get last stone advantage. I think the ice has been pretty uniform all weekend. Same draws, same weights. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be too much of a surprise to them what they were facing tonight. So 
So playing the out turn for a right-handed player. That's a counter-clockwise rotation. I'm leaving. Not sauber, sauber. I'm leaving. Yep. Oh. Yeah, this one looks uh, nice, Alan. Just Quite keeping safe, this one. I think. Yeah, Quite just keeping safe. this one clean. No panic. <laughs> it's just going to be right onto the T line. Well drawn. So formality's over. Germany will have the last stone in the first end. Good game. 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 So there we see Team Bowman. There's the lineup. <laughs> Looking rare. Rather happy about this uh, B Road final. It's a very close camera, I think. Uh, give him a bit more room. Yeah, Team yeah. Morizumi, they're also uh, up for this game. Hi, Al. Players are mic'd up, so we'll hear some of their conversations. I'm afraid I've not got any Japanese translation <laughs> skills, Kenny. Uh, well, <laughs> neither have I. You, you to be see these guys more than me. You must yeah. know a little bit about what they're yeah. saying. We, we see these guys uh, out in the tour. They do spend a lot of time in Europe and out in Canada. And this is Kazuki Morizumi. The lead. Uh, See how attacking uh, they're going to be. Yeah, start, th start with one in the forefoot. Do you think? I think we'll see. Uh, what does he make? Throw a, throw a short one. Yeah. Yeah, great stone placement. So straight away, Alexander Bowman. Going to ask his lead player. Sebastian Schweizer. So do you know the, the ice down here? They've played the out turn rotation for the draw the shot challenge, so. Yeah, and this one's just, uh, he's, he's overthrown a touch, it's a bit heavy, which is why it's not taking the draw. Certainly the games I was covering earlier in the week, Kenny, the, as soon as you're up on the up weights, the, the draw wasn't there in the first couple of ends. But, uh, I think that's, that one's not drawn because he's thrown it too heavy, I think that was more than that. It's a chance for ja Japanese team to attack a bit here, it's a, there's a good garden place and a free house, so hopefully, hopefully get this one in nice and close to the button. Oh, yeah, that one just uh, not curling either, Alan. No, just again, just maybe it's too much ice for the early ends. I think that certainly the, maybe by the time they're playing this at the end of the game, that would be the right ice to get to the button. But uh, with the crisp ice, it's over. It's not curled, it's, it's gone too deep. And less pressure on uh, Sebastian. Yep. Whoa! 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 Whoa. All eight sheets are full again this, tonight, so we've got six sea road games. These guys are on their last chance. Any loss here and they'll be out. And, home tonight um, the, the six winners will carry on and play the guys who lose this semi-final this final of the B road and the other B road the final so on so for those that don't know triple yes. knockout takes some getting yes. used to and on the permutations and the game schedules yes. yeah sure yes. it's uh, just keep winning yeah that's uh, that's uh, the main thing is don't lose any more than three and you're still in Roll out by uh, Morizumi team there, so Bowman team can uh, 
Start maybe doing some clearing up. They're a bit worried about that one being such a good guard. I think they'll try and move that. Yeah, so this is uh, Ryan Sherrard. Canadian based in uh, Munich. I was going to say, I think he's got some Canadian heritage, isn't he? Is he? Yes, he actually won the Canadian Juniors a uh, number of years ago. Okay, that's uh, good. Was the skip of actually that team, so a little surprised to play him, uh, see him playing further down the rink. Lots of experience to bring through, and not too sure whether the nearest ice rink to Munich could be down to Fusen or Oberstdorf, possibly. Ice rinks, curling rinks in Munich. And he's kept it clear, he's peeled off that guard, and even I think he was trying to play the hit and roll to make a corner guard, but uh, sprang it out, so everything's open and free for the Japanese team. Yeah, so I think what we'll see from both sides is not one to, to score in this first end. Just try and blank it and retain last stone advantage. That's certainly what uh, Team Bowman will be looking for. Yeah, fairly low risk strategy, I would imagine, for the first couple of ends, just to test each other's games, test the ice. They've, they've had a lot, of game, a lot of curling today, so they want to make sure that they don't waste it. They've been too ambitious too early. Yeah, it hangs around in the back 12 foot, so. Morizumi will have to make a play in it. Yes. 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 Is it going to hang around? Don't think so. No, it looks like it's cleared the back line there. So, because now Germany got a chance to turn it right around themselves. Maybe put one back in the same same corner of the rings there. Force a mistake if they can. Manuel Walter for Team Bowman. Yeah, these guys have. Uh, Played a lot of curling this year. They've uh, finished fifth at the Europeans, just missed out in the playoffs, losing to Norway in the last round robin game. And then straight back yeah. onto the Olympic repechage yep. event a week later, two weeks later, where they played another round robin set of round robin. They didn't qualify ultimately for the, the trip to Korea, but uh, again, that's. A lot more international games, a lot more ice time. Yeah, a little bit surprised they didn't uh, qualify at that uh, Olympic uh, repechage uh, championship or uh, playoffs. Probably a surprise for me was uh, Rasmus the Jenner. The return of the yeah. return of Rasmus there, yeah. No, come up. Yeah, I think I would have had yep. China as one of my favourites on the men's side to go through, but they, they didn't get through, and uh, Italy and Denmark managed to qualify to get the last two berths in Korea, so... Well done them, but I'd say maybe, maybe some of the more fancy teams didn't have a good week, I think, possibly. So it's looking like it'll be a blank. That's what uh, Bowman is certainly playing for from here. Control the end. Izuki Morozumi. Again, playing this out turn. 
There's a lot of play down this left hand yeah, side of the sheet of a, as we look at it. It's only all the draws have been coming on that side, haven't they? Nicely, Nicely drawn into the forefoot. Nicely. Alexander just be looking to hit half the stone, run himself out. Well, this isn't last stone, beg your pardon. Yeah. Just he was down the sheet, taking yeah, seconds off his clock. I thought he was just taking that as number, number eight stone. Yeah, both sides getting uh, 32 minutes thinking time in this eight-end uh, encounter. Good. <laughs> Certainly a, a great addition to the, the game, the, the sinking time. Yeah, there was a change recently, wasn't it? A few years back where they changed it from playing time to thinking time. And I think that, that was a fairer, fairer way to play the game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you got into attacking end with 15 draws, Three. it could eat up yeah. a whole chunk of time. Three. Three. And then teams would compensate by playing a quick hitting end, and it wasn't really in the spirit of the game to try and do that. You were having to manipulate the time clocks. I think this thinking time is a better way down, a better way for the uh, the players to play. Yeah. We certainly both played for a very slow thinking skip, Kenny, didn't we? Yes, I remember. I don't know if he's listening in New Zealand, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, I remember about three and a half hours for, for ten ends. It was painful. Yep. Yep. Bravo. <laughs> we'll not name yep. him, though. I think I've given quite a big clue there. <laughs> yep, so uh, we've uh, got no score in that first end. Alexander Bowman just peeling that... Uh, Red Japanese stone out of play. So not much to really go through after the first end. Morozumi, he's uh, quite keen to have a few stones in play. He's going to throw up some centre guards and try and make things difficult for Alexander Bowman. I think so. I've seen a couple of his games, uh, not on the screen, but just uh, over the rest of the weekend, and they always seem to have lots of stones in play against Eden, against Brewster, there were stones everywhere, so I think that's what he likes to play. I think possibly his guard was just a bit, almost too close there, Kenny, just, it was too, too much of a threat, and therefore Bowman got rid of it as his first available opportunity. If you just drop it just a fraction shorter, give yourself a bit more room behind it. So underway and in two. Stick, stick in the out turn, but obviously the different direction. Starting off with the out turn again. Yeah, is this one going to pull up short? Ah, it's not. It's just crept in. Okay, crept well. In. Yeah, but this this is a good call. They're just gonna throw up the corner guard, yeah, ignore, ignore the one top twelve foot. Yeah, they want they want stones in play, I think, as well. They'll, they've got the hammer in the odd, in the even end already, so they'll be thinking we can score here, then. and more than one here. We're in the position that we wanted to be. So. Yeah. That stone's not a threat to them clearly at the moment. Really good. Ben and Ryan, oh Ryan. Ryan. Creep in a bit as well, is it? Just, no, just nice. a short. There, just short. Yep. And to be fair, on this ice, because it's pulling so hard, you do need them quite uh, tight to the house. You throw a centre guard or a corner guard, sorry, two or three feet over the hog line. There's yeah. enough pull on this ice to get around it. Yeah, but both hands either way. So it's a fine line between uh, dropping them too short and too too far. But. Uh, Oh, 
あもうあとクリーンがいいかな曲がっちゃってるあ曲がっちゃってる 16.17 秒だねえ Never right to be cagey. There's a lot riding in this game. It's a chance to get through to the quarterfinals of a of a high-ranking event. Yeah, for sure. Uh, ranking points, prize money, all at stake here. Yeah, if you can make your way up the rankings, you're going to get an invite to these slams in yeah. in America, uh, oh. Canada. So it all leads to one. Progression, doesn't it? Everything, everything's important. There's no yep. no bounce games anymore. These games all yep. matter. The, the, the tail end of the weekend here. Yes. Hot. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Whoa. 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 Two top. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, nice yep. shot. Pushes the red through and rolls the yellow to the wing. Yep. So now you're going to ask. Uh, I'm more assuming he's got a decision to make, doesn't he? Yeah. Go after the corner one or put his draw in first? Yeah, he's going to go in. It's early enough in the end to have a go. But this is on a fresh track because of great right to this new side. This one hard. I'm just gonna watch the don't get caught out. Pause, get 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 out. Pause, Play the shot pretty easily, I think, and then roll another one, another yellow out to the corner, onto the side here. Like two in the wings, I think. Jeff will, will not gamble at that point. Step, 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 step. Whoa, yep, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good shot again. Come, 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 no, 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 so now, what do you do if you're Morozumi? Do you make an attack on some of these yellows? <laughs> yeah, he's not prepared to gamble that much. I thought he may have had to go coming back around the centre guard again, but then you run the risk of the same thing happening again. There's a lot of stones in counting up. I think uh, this is a probably a good call. Try and bring the game back a bit to the middle. Well, well. Yeah, nice shot. Makes both yellows go away and keeps the shooter. Now it's how aggressive do Germany want to go? Do they want to just swing one around? I think the problem with playing this, Alan, is you play the hit and roll in behind the guard, you're going to be behind T. It can only go behind the T, can't it? So it's so such a long roll. Yeah, that would just allow then uh, Morozumi just to come along and yeah. free, play the freeze. Ten. Yeah, I think um, he gave two signals. One was a, one yep. was a, a roll where he was only ro maybe rolling okay. a couple of feet. And the other one was a big long roll in behind the guards, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. it's not even hit the right side of the stone to make any roll. So. Little chance for the uh, Morozumi team here. Guards are in play and an empty house, so. Just preparing some ice damage. I think one of the stones must have had a bit of grit underneath it, so they're just cleaning up the back of the back of the ice. You can just see the scratch in behind that yellow stone. Chance here. Hide by you. It's certainly got a better line this time. Just trying to keep this one up the hill at the moment. Just from the hog line in, you'll start to see this one move. Yeah, 
Yeah, nice shot. It's good there. Good there. The Bowman team has to come in a slightly less weight than uh, than previously, but I think there's, the, the draw is still there. He can certainly push it. Artig! Push it back through. Artig! So, Walter for Team Bowman. He's calling his team off. He thinks he's maybe Great just line. a bit touch high on the release. Tim. That's a good shot, isn't it? Oh, just trying oh. to get us for the pull over. And slipped right past. I think he knew that as soon as he let it go, didn't he? He was calling them off. I think he knew that he pushed his delivery just a touch wider of the skip's brush than he wanted and unfortunately that slightly heavier weight there was no comeback for it it's a big big advantage for J Japanese team here yeah same shot just get, 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 get. this line looks a little higher though Having to go for weight. Yeah, working hard this one again. So this one will cut more though because of the lack of weight. There. Well, actually, it could end up in a pretty good position because of that, I think. Yeah, really nice. Stone's perfectly in line now. Very difficult for Alexander Bowen to move everything. Clear all three, I think, so it'll take them. Take them two at a time, I think, here. Oh, 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 Just got to watch, don't jam that one on the outside. So it only peels the guard. Things not looking good now for Alexander Berman. No, no I think uh, two good shots in by the Japanese team in that one miss previously left them a bit of difficulty a good guard here will set them up nicely cut them and then Alexander will have a very small area to try and hit with his last stone I think So Morizumi just going to try and throw a centre line guard, protect them two reds on the centre line. This is been a long way to move though. Sweeping for a length, I think he was probably just a bit sure they wanted. They're trying to just take it as many feet as they could there. I think he's left a gap through there. Certainly, if he. It's Alexander with the other hand was a, the only good thing about that, I think, but uh, there's definitely a gap through that port. Yeah, definitely. You yeah, should be able to make a double if you get fairly cute with the guard. Double end roll behind that little left uh, yellow guard there. Looks like those angles. Okay. Yeah, just talking about what weight to throw at this. Talking about split times. Generally, most teams will uh, take a time between the back line and the, the hog line, and you can determine how quick they've thrown the stone. This one looks very high. Yeah, all the way down they thought that was high and he was calling them right off. So he's moved one. However, Morizumi can put a, a good second counter in here, then it's going to be really tough for uh, Alexander to get in to score himself. You know, 
He's facing, facing the stolen one. Great to see Kenny's like all these international teams visiting Perth. Yeah, absolutely. Seven out of the, the ten Olympic teams are here. Different line than the last one, certainly, from his first from his guard. He just overcorrected. Whoa, whoa. Well, that's set two though, so. Well, force Alexander Berman to, to take his one. Take if his he plays one, it yep. properly, yep. Which uh, the Japanese team will not have been happy with. Though. They might, might have thought that they had a chance to score themselves, but second best is forcing Germany to only take a one. in his first one hopefully he's come through this port on the intern yeah, delicate weight there's no panic in the sweeping so I'm expecting good things here if it comes into the rings yeah well done yeah score of one for team Bowman so his German side now lead 1-0 after two ends over Morozumi of Japan. Previous shot we saw Pat Simmons in the background of the shot. He's uh, also had a long day in the ice. I think he lost his first two games in the in the tournament and is now still alive in the sea road. So he knows Perth ice pretty well now. He's never been off it. Yeah, I think he's got a bit of a shock of the strength and depth of uh, what's on offer here at the, the Perth Masters. Sebastian Schweizer gets us underway in the third though of our feature game between Morozumi and Bowman. As we said before, this is a B Road final. A chance to book their spot in the quarter finals. Night off tonight. Food, rest, sleep. Come back first thing in the morning in the quarterfinals. Suzuki Morozumi. Me. Wait a second. To set up. Corner guard here. Looks like he's played it pretty nicely. He's drawn well off the centre tape there. Yeah, the thinking is uh, when you've got last stone, you want the centre open should you need to bail out and draw for your single point. If you don't have last stone, get things around that centre line to try and make it difficult for the opposing skip to score a single point. Linie is good. Bisschen rum, ja, Curl, 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 Pro, Pro, Pro. Ja, schön, Zip, gut. Ja, so, through that one. Up tight, just yep. protecting that yellow. Yep, well set up by the German lead there. 
Suzuki Morizumi trying to come around the back of all to both of those yellow ones. Yes. 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 Has he made it past the top yellow? Whoa. He has. Oh, well swept. Well swept. That missed by nothing. Good still in there. Probably could be critical and say it's gone behind the T line, but I think uh, given how much they had to seat that just for oh. line. Pretty good there. Anyway, Jeremy changing tack and coming in on the intern now. Yeah, Ryan Sherrard. Mike! Yep! Just looking to come down and, and rest against this red. New path this one, we haven't seen yep. uh, anything on this hand in this direction, so guessing a little, but it looks like he's played it well here. Is he going to get enough curl on that? Yeah, there's enough though. Sensing danger, so try and spring these two center guards away. Center stones away. Whoa. So Yamaguchi for Team Morazumi doesn't make a double. Sweeping doesn't get that double. Shooter runs off into the next door rings away, but uh, he didn't get the double, which is kind of what he was looking for. Oh. you fancy here, Kenny? Put oh. another guard no. on? I would go into the okay. Absolutely. Uh, just a little bit uh, to the left hand side as we look at that one. So, just a guard being asked for. Looks like he's got plenty of line at the moment. Then he's trying to catch the curl now. Yeah, it does make uh, the guard, but a little bit too tight for me, Alan. Yeah, you can see how close they are there. And you might be able to take half stone and the top yellow. Top yellow into the second one. Clear both of them. Yeah, you might even get lucky and take the, the yellow down in the house. Yes! 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 Ah! Looks pretty thick. Yep, well, there you go. He called it and he's got a second corner guard. Good call, Kenny. Yeah, the guard was too close, wasn't it? Just saying. Yeah. See again. A yard, a yard further out. That triple's much, much harder to make. Yeah, still pretty hard to make, though, Alan. It's, uh, <laughs> watching these good guys on the TV, I've come to expect them to make most shots nowadays. Yeah. I think the ice conditions have certainly improved over the years. And the stone. Qual quality of the stones. Quality of the stones as well, yeah. A lot of the game being pretty much now professional as well. Yeah, I think so. I think that that's that's for me that's been the big step up is the, the accuracy of the striking as the guys have played more and more curling. Oh! 
Ning. Yep. Ning. Whoa. Ball cat. Well, makes the nose hit. Makes the nose hit. I think he's just they're just prodding, prodding Jeremy, see if they get a mistake, a hit and roll out. They can then use those two corner guards over on the right-hand side. Help! Well, he's called that almost, he's called that as he's let it go, so. Help! I think he must be inside the brush Help! here. Which Help! He's trying to keep away from the guards. He doesn't want any, any play on that side of the ring. It's a good shot. Chance for the hit and roll now, although it would go slightly deeper than maybe you'd want. Well, this one's moving. Yeah, he's. I think this one's going to overcurl Alan and completely. Skip stood up out of his stance. I think he's thinking this is missed completely. Yeah, that was unreleased, wasn't it? Yeah, just dumped it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, he's moved off the button, so um, he's taken a little bit of the heat out of it, but uh, it's, it's not ideal because it gives Germany the real chance, German team a real chance to uh, put more resume under some pressure to make us one. It's actually very difficult to place a stone in an awkward position. Yeah, because you go in behind the corner, they're probably just going to freeze you. Yeah, you could, you could just run too deep, then he can follow you. You don't, you don't go quite round, you leave the double. It certainly doesn't really be in, I don't leave anything on the uh, left-hand side as we look down at now. A double take out and potentially the roll as well, so... I think they're thinking just... Top, top eight foot. Yeah, top eight foot on the left-hand side. I'd maybe like to see them go top eight foot on the, the right-hand side. In front of the other yellow? Yeah. Make the, the roll bigger. The, rolls, the roll then becomes 10 yeah. feet, doesn't it? She's cut the ice, so. Trying to get close to these guards, I think. Now he's maybe trying to get uh, three quarters in behind in front of the tee. Leave it tough for Morozumi to follow him. To tap it. Spring open himself. Minya good! Linie gut! Vorne 12, Beißer 8. Wow, 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 wow. Being cautious with this one, they don't want to take this too deep. Ja, Mann, ey! Ja! Was geht? Was geht? Fest, fest, fest. Weiter, 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 weiter. Was geht? Was geht? Was geht? So, for me, bad call played badly. Alan. A double whammy. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Bad call played well is never usually the uh, the wrong shot. No, well, he is it? So Yuzuki Morizumi can follow that one. I'm trying to probably lock this, I think. Yeah, just looking for it right in on top of that yellow. Turn the pressure back on to Alexander to do the same. Any spring, then uh, Morizumi's going to have a shot for two so small thing is it was a mistake mistake by the Japanese boy to put the one over to the left when he just clicked off the button just got to turn that asset into your advantage as soon as you can just, just let him off the hook a bit here Yes. 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 Yes.
trying to keep it more, they were more worried about keeping it in line, I think, than uh, the correct weight. So. A little chance just to flick this one out, actually. That's uh, harder as it looks. It's not a lot of distance between the two stones. Gamble and try and get the low side. Tight to the guards, push it no. back towards the hack. No. I think I might be tempted just to play the same shot again. He's played with his first one. Force him to the one. Yeah. Yeah, although he had the advantage, he was never really lying in a position where it looked like he was no! going to steal the one no! without another Japanese mistake. Yes! However, they're yes! working, working at this one hard yes! from his release point. I die, 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 die. Whoa, whoa. He did get cute to the guard. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Not deliberately. No. I think they were certainly take, trying to take it the other way. <laughs> and everybody relax. So it leaves most of the eight foot rings for Yuzuki to draw to for his, for his one to level up the game. Just got Still got to make it. That was close to both those reds, the way it was curling. Must have been very close to the second one, but look at it there. Suzuki Morozumi seems to have been uh, on the international scene for a number of years. Yeah, I can't think of any other Japanese teams that I've seen in any other events in recent years. I'm sure there are some junior guys coming through behind him. This guy's certainly dominated the Japanese scene for a number of years now. Super draw, though. Yeah, makes the one and ties the game. So after three, it's Morizumi one, Bauman one. Yeah, there you see the scoreboard, blanked first end. Bowman forced to take one in the second. And Morizumi likewise forced to take his single point in the third. Zumi, hopefully, put a few guards in play here. We can uh, expect him to try and steal or force the Germans into one here. Just looking out across the arena here, and uh, every game is tight. There's no, uh, there's no runaway. Matches are down there the moment. It's this deep in the weekend, these are all teams that are still playing well. The games are all going to be tight. Well, interesting call. Electing to play the split on the centre guard. I like this. It's a shot you normally don't see in the fourth end of a game. It's, uh, well, you, you say that, Alan. Um, Rachel Holman uh, does uh, employ, this, yeah, employ this tactic uh, quite a lot. I think it happens quite a lot when the opposition lead has put down a mid-length guard. Yeah. If, you, if they're out short or up tight, I don't think they'll play this shot. But I think once you've got this mid-length, you've got a chance here to do exactly that, and he's now ended up with two beautiful corners. Yeah, great shot. That's, that might be a shot of the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of people call that shot. No, as I say, I think the, the, the first guard has to be in a certain zone for that yeah. to be able to work.
four rock free guard zone here at the Perth Masters. Gentle looking to probably explore the five rock rule next season. Yeah, there's going to have to be some thinking on my part to work out how that's going to work next year. Yeah. Different game scenarios where the where the rocks are likely to be. What you're going to do with your th seconds first stone, and you can no longer just immediately hit. So uh, there's lots of thinking, lots of research required here. I think for all the teams, some of them have already played it on slam events in Canada. I think, but uh, every event. I believe is converting to five rock rule as from the start of next season. So he's going for it again, I think, Kenny. He's now Japanese replaced the centre guard. I think he's going to go for this tick again. I thought he might, thought he might have used one of his corner guards here. Well, played it again. And he can. He can I think he can just move it over for the night. That's, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Can't say I remember you playing two tick shots, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Not when called. <laughs> Usually when I was trying to come round the first card. There's a lot of ice there, isn't it? See that right out in the 12 foot. So they're fully expecting this one to draw right in behind the two reds. All the way from there. Or is he just, or is he just, just put the yet, yet guard? another guard, possibly. <laughs> it's messy if there's then five out there. Yeah, putting it back, so... Decision now for Ryan Sherrod whether to. Uh, no, he's, he's taken off that one. This is not tick weight. This is uh, this is full peel weight. I can't really get anything else with this. Not what he was after. No, not at all. They were, they were quiet all the way down, suggesting he was on the high side, and it's ricocheted into one of those corner guards, bounced back. It's just got a tiny bite. That's just double, double whammy. He comes back there and just spins into the ring. So, Japan, Japanese team could get another guard on this now. Sense it could be a bit of danger for the German team. Places the centre guard. Alexander calling for Ryan Sher to do a clean peel off this time. Simple stuff this time, gets it correctly. Just to see if uh, Alexander Bowen has any clothes in his suitcase back there. Tell I think he's wearing three <laughs> tops <laughs> underneath his uh, his team top and his woolly hat. Yeah, I can't say uh, we've had uh, too many people complaining about the the rink being uh, cold down there. There's a few guys out in t-shirts, to be honest. Yeah, he's maybe just a bit under the weather. So guards are guards are there. Too sure. Too sure. 
there's going to be any change of strategy here yet. I'm just going to keep peeling this guard off. Just looking for another clean peel. Same again, he's clunked this one through this time, so <coughs> it's a handy shot that because it's opened up both hands um, in case Alexander needs to draw the forefoot with his last stone. He's now got a root in on either hand, so that's actually a pretty good shot, I think, that one. Yeah. Not as damaging as the earlier one, which poked a red in. That's, that's, that's definitely a more useful shot. So at some point, someone's going to take the initiative and uh, <laughs> play some stones in the house. Yeah, I don't think that one is just biting the front rings, the I winning stone in this yes, end. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So guard number six. It's very short, that one, though. It's just out by the... Uh, the tour logo there, so it's pretty short, that one. He might have it. Might change strategy here and try and do something this time yeah he's he's no longer appealing he's thinking he's got a route to the in behind that now yeah. just saying that the line's good so now you see the line is gonna pass both these guards with quite a bit of room he's got Enough yes. running on there. This could be a really good shot. Actually, he's going to get just just underthrown, I guess. Well swept by his team. But they weren't able to see too much of that uh, <laughs> that yellow stone. No, they, they can come in, tap back weight, low running weight sort of thing. But, uh, whether they didn't have enough weight to push it through the rings, I don't know. So, it's a useful shot by. Um, Manuel Volta there. Advantage, just a stone advantage there, having three yellows left to play against two reds, just to, just changes the pressure there. Turn path to the button here. I am a Needing this for weight, I think. Yeah, it certainly is. The uh, sweeper's going really hard on it. Got it past the top red. Have we got that enough to get it past the yellow? Great scrub by the well, well swept. front end. Well swept. I don't think that was uh, getting past the yellow, but just kept that going the extra foot. Made a, bit, made a big difference there. Oh, it's tucked it in. Really nice. You see? Yeah. Alexander's got a chance though here, he can come round everything, a bit of running, hit the yellow one that had traded previously. That should pop the red one out a little bit, might not, might not lie any yellow counters, but the red at least would be a bit more open. He's got to be careful though. Oh yeah, want can't, to can't run by it. No, um, and also can't afford to just catch half stone and leave a, a possible double because the yellow might spring out into the open. So lots can go wrong with this shot. Yep. Yep. So he's played it with a bit of running, so. Oh! 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 It's called the sweepers off there, they've responded. Yep. So coming now. Yep. Yep. Hard right! Go, 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 go! Well, I 
Has he rolled the shooter enough? He's done it far enough, I think. He's certainly done as we thought he could do, but whether he's just left a danger of the double looks, looks okay. Huh? Yeah, looking at that, I think he could dump, come down at uh, quiet weight and play a, a double. He only needs to move the second yellow. <laughs> yeah, just to show. Yeah. Just to see down the down the line of the rink, we might be able to see this. Thing. Trying to get that second counter out of sight. Yeah, I, th I think he can come down just at uh, quiet weight, catch as much as the yellow you can see, and it'll go on to the, the other yellow. Leave yourself sitting too. The one inside the forefoot is actually further up the ring, so he can, he can get the back of the second yellow. To half st anything more than half stone is perfect. He needs to move it a foot. three quarters of the way out. Yeah. Fence, yeah doesn't actually have to move the, the yellow right out of the house as long as he keeps his shooting stone. Yes, what he doesn't want to do is go right through the gap, which uh, would be disastrous for him, but they're not <laughs> sounding like it's doing that. Has he got enough to... Oh, he's oh. feathered that one. Oh, well. He was fortunate there. I think the fortunate covers it. Goodness me, that must have gone, because they weren't sweeping that early. Nope. At least he's apologising. Gracious enough to yeah. apologise. He said it with a big smile on his face. I don't think he's totally sorry, <laughs> but uh, uh, one of the good things about the sport is that uh, little flukes and lucky breaks like that are usually apologised by the offending team. And you have to accept that, don't you? You have to yeah. smile and grin and say, you're OK. Yeah, so final rock of the fourth end for Alexander Bowman. Just needs to be fully eight foot yep. for a score of two. I think they're just nursing this one down. I think they've got an extra couple of gears if they really had to sweep this far. Yeah, super shot. So big score of two in the fourth for Bowman. Opens he up now the scoreboard lead. a little bit. Yeah, three one. After four <laughs> ends. Very, very interesting uh, end of curling. Yeah, that was that all came about because of that uh, ricochet peel that ended up touching that Japanese stone just to the top of the 12 foot there. Kind of changed both teams' strategy a little bit. Actually made for quite a good end of curling. Advantage Bowman just at the moment as they rack the stones for end five. Which team do you think is going to... Uh, Looking good for tomorrow, Kenny. No, not from this one, but from all the teams that are likely to qualify. <laughs> Eden? I don't think you can look past uh, Nicholas Adin. Uh, fine form. Uh, turned over Thomas Olsrud uh, quite convincingly. This morning, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, but he's never actually managed to pick up the, the trophy here at uh, Perth Masters, so... Tom Brewster is usually in the mix from a Scottish point of view. He's got a Oh, he's alter got altered team this year, so they're still finding their feet. But he's got a good record in Perth. Oh, he's got a, a great record here at the Masters. About three or four times, uh, I believe. Yeah, three times he's won it. First one was in 2001, then 2004, and 2010. Oh, 2017 actually. I was going to say, there's yeah, another one, another one here somewhere. Yep. Yeah. 
sure the 2017 team has, has uh, been scattered to the winds. Glenn Muirhead up currently with Kyle Smith, Ross Patson, having I mean, all different teams now. Right, we're back underway in end five. German lead has put one into the top of the forefoot. Japanese corner guard. So conventional start. Yep. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Morizumi uh, approaches this. Having to chase the game. The A10 game is uh, oh, oh. so different to a 10 end oh. game. Yeah, two two down yep. with five to play. Yep. Let's say he he wouldn't be panicking. He'd say I've got potential scoring ends and three out of the next five ends. I think I can overturn a two point deficit, but in a four end a four end game, one of them becomes a blank. All of a sudden, you're just just running out of time. But having said that, it can go the opposite as well. If he gambles oh, too no. much here and loses another one against the head. Pop it. No oh. right. No right. No right. You don't see too many big comeback wins in the eight end game of curling. You'll see them in ten end games. Yeah. You don't tend to see them in eight end games. Yeah, so Alex uh, quite happy with the way things are sitting, so he's just gonna throw up a centre guard. Really gone there. Just the last, the last time he said "whoa," oh, it's picked up. I think the last time he said "whoa," and um, Manuel Walter lifted his brush. It must just have caught something coming off the bottom because that's just gone sideways. Yeah, it I think it was tight. I think it was tight all the way. Sorry, Ken. I yeah. think it was tight, but they were sweeping it, and then he maybe just realised it wasn't going to make it. He said "whoa," and it jumped another foot over extra. So and it turned into a sort of bit of a corner guard there. So. Japanese team a small chance here. Yes, it didn't, they didn't have a lot of rotation on the stone either. Coming in with a bit of pace on this one, trying to yes. use the okay. middle okay. red okay. one to do some damage here, spring the reds apart. I think he's got enough separation between them. Yeah, he has. But he's got to think the, the roll just play the nose double. Arctic! Arctic! The double. I think he has. That red's has. gonna spin just, out. I think he's just managed to get the yellow covered a bit at the front as well with that with the angle he hit there. I think he's just in behind the guards. Yeah, three quarter hidden. Morizumi sees a chance to attack here. He's coming in the intern through the gap around the staggered guards, trying to get all the way to the one the one foot or four foot. I think here. Yes. 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 Yes.
line right here. Just maybe a little heavy. Yeah, a lot of sweeping for line. It just cost him. It's probably too big anyway, but it's only having to sweep that hard for the line early on just cost him a bit of li uh, length as well. Not even lying short. You, you just about got away with it if you've been the shot's done deep, but um, it's not even lying, I think, so. Jeremy trying <laughs> to play the same shot, trying to race to the button on the intern here. So, Walter. Yep! Yep! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Oh, nine! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm saying this one's heavy. Change their, change their yep. weight call halfway whoa. down there. Oh, goodness me. Right, well, we've had to adapt to the Need to go on this one. feather off that red. Goodness me, I think that was uh, poorly communicated from the off, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, certainly not his best throw of the week, because uh, now it's set up a double in the top yellows. Yeah, I think if they'd got their sweeping call correct there, I think they would have tried to get the one brush on the curling side and tried to push that away from that red more there. Feathered less of it. Three quarters of the way down, they changed that from an acht to a nine. Yeah. Well, taking three shots between the teams to get there, but I think they finally got one in a good position. I'm a little surprised they didn't play the double. I think the way they're just they're slightly staggered, I think he would just have left the red on the right hand side. That one's the, the one on the centre tape is in front of them, you see there. Yep. Back line! Help! Two inches the other way, I think yeah. we would have gone for the double. Oh, maybe the I think you've still got a good chance of scoring a two if you... Yeah, I think it's, uh, it runs the risk here of Germany just coming down, German team just coming down and following that one. Cutting down his uh, target area. Oh. Must be able yeah. to see, I think he can maybe see a touch because he's looking to tap this away. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! He's feathered the guard on the other side this time. Has he got lucky and hung around in the back ring? He has. Okay. From here, Kenny, if he starts looking at the double now, he's put that red in a position where he could almost catch one of those yellow, the, the tight yellow stone. Yep. Yeah, that's why I probably would have uh, taken the the double, double at the first one. Yeah. yeah. He's really got to catch this one perfect. Not a lot of weight. Playing it with some control. Yes, yes. Controlled, controlled double takeout. He's right. Yes! 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 Well. I don't think that's helped him too much. What are you? Taking, taking away one of the German tap-up stones, I guess, was maybe what I was worried about there, but he's not really manoeuvred anything else into a good position. Well, it's not too bad, that one, to be honest. I think he's maybe got... You can see half the, the red at the top. On the centre there, he could, he could ram it back onto the, the yellow that's in the eight foot. I 
I think Bowman tries to hit the button here. Yeah. And even if you go right back and freeze the back red. Yeah, back here. Something just. I see that would then eliminate yeah. the red that, he, that uh, Morizumi could attack next. So I, think, I think what he's got to do here is uh, play the scoreboard. Yeah, he, is, he is two up. Um, I'm sure he doesn't give up uh, a silly three. Alexander Bowman for the Germans playing skip stones just needing to find a piece of the button in behind these guards so they're, they're, liking the, they're liking the way they've called down T-line he can get it around I think he is well played yeah, I think it's in for a shot. Yeah, I think so. He might come chasing this one. Yeah, I think so. You can see, th see three quarters of that yellow. So he'll come down and try and push that diagonally across. Keep his shooter over on the right hand side of the eight foot. Yeah, so in around hack weight, maybe. If anything, what you want to do is be tight with this one. Play the shot that you called the minute or so ago and see if, if, if it went wrong. That would be that. That's, yeah. that's it. That's his second shot, but that's that's quite a long way inside now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Error on the professional side is. Mizuki. <laughs> Morozumi. It's a good shot, by and I think that, as you say, that's a scoreboard shot because um, if this unravels the way it looks like it, it's probably only going to be a two for uh, Morozumi. But uh, I think he's going to play this shot. You've called. He needs to call them off early if he's going to hit the guard. So, oh my goodness, that's what he couldn't afford to do. If you're going to hit the guard, just just get just, off the sweeping. Just realise it soon. Yeah, just. Uh, Feather the first one, feather the shots, done. Yes. Yeah, so from what uh, has looking at a strong position, now he's uh, in a lot of trouble. That's a big error, that one, isn't it? Alexander can cover this in turn tap up line. No, that's, that's the only one. going to find the button for, for his shot, isn't he? It's, uh, that's a big mistake, that one. Yeah, well, he does have the. You could afford to you could afford to half the stone he was going out and, and roll your shooter. Yeah, I think I might be tempted to throw this one quite tight to the house rather than than long, like they're, they're saying, just. To prevent that, uh, there's a drive in this yeah. corner red, uh, corner left, corner left red one. Uh, it's, it's, it means a tough shot, but it is there. Martin, oh no, oh oh oh, Martin, Colin, Colin, Manuel, I'm so sick. Hard Manuel, run the match. Best basket, hard. Best. Just got on a bit of a straighter line there. That was uh, similar to the one that Manuel Walter threw. Can't get on it. Just didn't quite get enough draw. He's got the nice reduced the gap, but it's. Yeah, can't get on it. Huh? Yeah. But I don't know why I'm doing it. Martin and Wiss. Yeah, so there's a gap there now. So, uh, one of Zumi could come down and just chip that red onto the yellow. Very difficult to hold it for a two. Yeah, I don't. I can't. I can't visualise this one for two. Uh, to get enough pace to come round the guard and draw and chip the red and push the yellow far enough away. 
but having said that, he might well prove me wrong. for this weekend. He's past the top one. There we go. Has he played it? Ah, you're right. He couldn't, couldn't hold it for the two, though. Yeah. So single. Good shot, though. Yeah, certainly good is. Shot. Yeah, certainly a good single uh, for Morizumi. So we see it once more. Swept it early just to keep it up the hill. So... Either way, Germany would be happy with the outcome, I think. Uh, yeah. They might have liked to have taken the one themselves to go three up with three to play. But, uh, one up with the hammer with three to play is also a pretty strong position. Yeah, nice shot from the skip. So you see it. Uh, no stolen ends so far. Plenty of opportunities though to, to, to make some steals. There have been more stones in play, so um, always increases the likelihood. Just not quite positioning the final stones correctly. I don't think either skip there. Well, for want of a guard there, I think one good guard in there that would have been a th that would have been a that was a two point swing eventually, wasn't it? Yeah, so uh, tight guard being called. So one of the other six, seven games that is on at the moment is the other B-Road final between Van Dorp from the Netherlands and Cameron Bryce. Who I think is normally playing out of Perth these days as he's the development officer here. Um, similar, similar situation, the winner goes uh, through to the Sunday play and the loser goes on to another game tonight and that is a very tight game it's three oh. all Bryce has the hammer down the fifth so we'll just keep it the score update as we go through the commentary on that one as well Shoot up. Shoot up. Yep. Yep. That's good. Good. he tried his famous tick shot again there Kenny but uh, it was a bit closer to the rings he's played it well pushed a stone in this time yeah, either way, it's uh, a good, uh, a good shot. Takes the play into the rings, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So once the seconds are playing, they're hitting stones in the rings. Yep. Is this one going to pull up in time? I think it is. Yes, 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 it's a, a rare chance for Schweitzer to play a strike weight. Side roll, just not quite enough, but uh, tidy enough. <laughs> so Yamaguchi looking to try and draw in behind the centre guard. Okay. 
コウスケコウスケクリーンクリーンクリーンクリーン大丈夫だコウスケイエスコウスケイエスイエス yeah, so This one just sneaks over the yes. hog line. Yes. Changed his tax a little bit and he's actually gone for the one long, one short guard. So it's a different variation again that we're seeing from the uh, Japanese team. Yeah. Bowman now, it's a little bit difficult for him to, to peel that guard because he's got his two yells uh, fairly wide. If he got a little bit cute with uh, the center line, he could... Uh, Ricochet back line yep. did a couple of times ago. Yeah. So yep. looking to clear this off the face of that wide yellow oh. one. Good right. Nice throw. And so things beginning to develop here in the sixth end. Just looking to play the, the ultra short guard again. Skips come racing out to help them, but uh, they got it over. Wow, that's uh, now the skip will claim that he made the difference in that. One. That's the difference between a skip, a skip sweeping, and the front end sweep. See the sweeping action, all three of them at this one, trying to get it over the hog link. Just doing enough. Yep, ten. Well, Ryan Sherrard yep. right on top of the hog line with that one. <laughs> Just, okay. just okay. flicking it off. <laughs> yeah. Never in doubt, Skip. Never in doubt. Yeah, they weren't too worried about it, to be honest. I think they were always catching something. So just replacing it. Yeah, just going through the, the motions now. Just uh, continuing to throw up these centre guards. Eventually they're going to have to make a play and come around. I think they'll ignore that yellow that's out wide. Zang this one up is potentially just flicking the wide yeah. yellow one as well. Okay, good. Almost, if you just flick that yellow one, he might have just pushed it back in the rings, and then uh, that changes the Japanese team strategy as well. I mean, it's, it's a high tariff shot, but uh, <laughs> he did have a quick look at it. Uh, yeah, so we're into the uh, second. Stolen for the thirds. Matt. So electing to play the draw in behind. I think I might have been tempted to throw another guard. One more. One more guard. Just run a few more stones through. Yeah, he's, he has elected for the guard. Oh, he has played his guard as well. Yeah. Yeah, good shot there. However, this time Germany have elected not to do the peel and are going in first. 
Wow. Oh. I'm, uh, oh, you're amazed by that. I think it boils down to this. We've got three oh, shots. You've got two left. I think it's uh, yep. just for that imbalance yep. between the number oh, of stones actually yep. becomes quite important. Oh, yeah. Yep. Nine. Yep. Hard. You get yourself in trouble by oh. doing this, though, Alan. He, he definitely can, and he's definitely, especially as he's thrown it in a position that's going to end up. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just back of the tee, so if uh, Morozumi could ever throw one round right in on top, he knows that that's the, the wrong call now. <laughs> yep, yeah, he could have taken that deeper. I think he was quite close to the yellow ultimately, but then, you know, if you're going to play that shot, cut down the risk of them being able to freeze in it by taking it for as far through as you can I think once, once you know it's heavy take it as far as you can so you play it heavy but once you know it's heavy So, real good chance for. Suzuki Morozumi to get right down on top of this. Line looks really nice. Line is good. He's not even going to need the yellow one. He's. Just to take a seat though. Well, just over curled maybe. Yeah, it looks pretty good, but um, as Kenny says, it's just half a stone too far on the out-turn curl there. Just cost him, cost him a real unbeatable shot. A chance here for Alexander to play the other hand. and could play either hand in actual fact, but uh, I'd like to change. Yeah, if he could ever just come down, back eight foot weight, push the, the red through, roll underneath. You're, you're looking as if you're going to be good for picking up the win. Yep! Yeah! 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 yeah. Pass! Pass! to work this hard. Pass! There's another, gu another guard to get by yet. Pass! He's got the weight, he's good now. Super shot. Yeah, that's well played. Isn't it? Well swept. Well, well thrown. Well, well played. Good team stone there. Throws it right back at Morozumi to try and play a good one. So what do you do now if you're uh, Yuzuki Morozumi? Do you come down and just try and freeze the top of it? The game situation suggests that you try and just play a similar shot to his last one. They played play the out turn, freezing it, and hopefully try and restrict German team to one. Having said that, he's looking at the other hand and he's going to try and, I think, count the shot here. Which the margin on that is much less than just drawing onto the face of it in the other hand. But if he comes a touch wide and a touch heavy, comes onto the red one, Alexander can follow him for a two that way. It's difficult. So, advantage Germany. Suzuki Morozuma is going to have to pull a big shot out here to avoid going a few shots down as we come to the closing stages. Yeah, real key shot in this game. Looks to have a lot of running on this one. 
This one's holding straight with the... This is, uh, this is certainly not much heavier than I expected him to play. It comes onto the face of this red one. We know that shot's now manageable. He's just shown Alexander exactly what he needs to do. This is a shot for a four, I think. Yeah, certainly it's uh, a game winner for Alexander Bowman. Make it past the guard. Push the, the red through. Score three. And you've got to think that uh, it's game over. Yeah, concede. Three makes it six, two, four. Times they need one more. Yeah, I think they would. They would looking at shaking hands. I can't, can't imagine they'd want to be carrying on too much longer, given they would have another end game to play tonight. The, the losing team. So, match point here for uh, yep. Alexander Bowman. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. It's a lot Come of weight on. though. He's played a lot Whoa. of weight at this one. This one needs to move. Whoa. Perfect. Oh, perfect Good shot. And picks up four. One, two, three, four, I think. And meeting in the middle. Yep. yep. Hands are being shaken. So great last stone. Two good ends actually coming back towards the, the bar end here in, in Perth. By the, played by the German team. Two and then a four. Just uh, opened up the scoreboard and uh, never looked back. Yeah, so 7-2, the final score between <laughs> Morozumi and Bowman. Bowman oh, progressing to the quarterfinals. Yep. Uh, Morozumi will uh, drop down into the... He's into the C-Road. C-Road, yep. last game in the C-Road, which I think is 8 o'clock tonight. <laughs> yep. We so don't, know, don't know yet who he'll be playing. There's uh, All the other games in the C-Road are still got ongoing. No clear-cut runaway winners yet, so we'll, we won't know yet who, who's playing until later on the evening, but uh, I believe, Kenny, you're back on again tonight. Yeah, sure are for the final C-Road uh, games. And uh, I'm sure there'll be some interesting matchups. but if we're going to take a look at uh, the scoreboard, Bowman, the real uh, game-changer was at uh, four in the sixth end that uh, closed the game out. Morizumi looking to chase the game and just couldn't quite... Uh, Get a roll in with his final stone, left it open, and Alexander Burden removed it from play and scored four. I'm sure he'll uh, have a relaxing evening. And yes, he can. Uh, he can put his feet up, yeah. get over whatever little bug he's managed to pick up, and uh, come back fresh in the morning. Uh, as you can see there, the other scores are available on the worldcurl.com website. Yeah, so here's uh, some of the action from that game between Morozumi and Alexander Bowman. So, this uh, event really wouldn't be possible without uh, our event sponsors, uh, Mercure Hotels, Perth Honda, Perth and uh, Kinross uh, Council, Earnside Coaches, uh, Live Active Leisure, uh, many other sponsors and people giving up their time for this uh, fantastic event. It's a very well run event, good uh, organising committee well looked after for many years. Yeah, and it uh, really is a championship to, to win on the World Curling Tour. So that's it from the B-Final. From Alan and myself, thanks for listening. Good night.